Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today I'm going to show you how to study the Bible in a simple way without using any, having to buy any tools. Um, just a simple way to look at the Bible and to study it. I'm going to take uh, John 16:7 to show you what I mean. Okay, it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Comforter will not come unto you, but if I do, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin, because they do not believe on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment, because the Prince of the world is judged. Now, the main subject we're talking about is the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. And I want to figure out here what exactly it is the Comforter is going to do. And also, uh, so first of all, I'd go like this. I'd return that right there. So there's the Comforter. Okay, first of all, it says here that Jesus has to go away in order for the Comforter to come. And if he departs, because Jesus went away and departed, the Holy Spirit will be sent. But when he comes, what's he going to do? Okay. When he comes, he's going to reprove the world of sin. So I'm going to put a number one there. Right here, a number one. And then I'm going to return that. Now, what else is he going to do? He is going to uh, reprove the world of sin and of righteousness. So I'm going to put another two here. And I'm going to return that because that's the second thing in this list he says he's going to do. And then a number three of judgment. So I'm going to put a number three here. And I'm going to return that. Okay. It's going to reprove the world of sin, of judgment, and of righteousness. Okay. Now, let's take a look here when he says reprove the world of sin. Okay, let's go back down here and read. He says, of sin because they believe not on me. So let's take that, right there he said of sin, let's take that and put it right here because that's what he's talking about. Reprove the world of sin, of sin because they believe not on me. Okay, and then of righteousness. Right up here it says, of righteousness, because I go to the Father and you see me no more. So let's take that and let's put that right here, because that's of righteousness. Why does he expect righteousness? Because I go to my Father and you see me no more. And then of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. Okay, so let's put that up there. So you see how we've taken... We take the scripture apart and put it back together in a way that we can understand. So the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, is going to, when he comes, he's going to reprove the world of sin. Now, why is he going to reprove the world of sin? Okay, let's just get rid of this of sin because it's saying the same thing twice. Because they believe not on me. Now, oftentimes people think that Jesus is going to, uh, the Holy Spirit is going to convict the world of sin because they you know, they're doing so many wrong things because they uh, might be liars and murderers and fornicators and adulterers and everything else that is sinful. But sinners are sinful because that's what why they're called sinful. Sinners because they sin. They sin because they have the devil's nature in them. And the Bible right here says uh, that he's going to prove the world of sin, not because each individual sin they do, but this is really exciting. Because they believe not on me. Now here's another tool you can use. I highlighted something. And when you highlight it, it makes it stand out. And you can, I'm going to highlight some other things. And it's going to make it stand out and easier to study. So right here become, becomes a revelation. He reproves the world of sin. Why? Because they don't believe on him. So that's the only sin he's going to prove the world of. Uh, because once you believe on him, all your all your sins are forgiven because you're in Christ Jesus. So, let's look on here. He calls us righteousness. So it says, the Holy Spirit is, okay, so the Comforter. He's talking about the Comforter. Now let's 
get rid of this and turn that back into uh, yeah there we go okay and um, the comforter now will reprove the world of sin but now we're going to find out what the righteous okay oops let's see if we can get that right okay and anyway, okay the righteousness the comforter um, when he comes he will reprove the us the of righteousness because I go to the Father. Now, why is he going to prove, uh, uh, why is he going to uh, show us that we're righteous? Because we go to the Father and we see him no more. And up here he says if he doesn't go away, he can't send the Holy Spirit. When he goes to heaven, he puts his blood on the mercy seat, which causes us to, um, uh, which causes, let's see, puts his blood on the mercy seat, which causes us to be washed clean of all our sins and he sends back the Holy Spirit as a, a guarantee of that promise so we have the Holy Spirit being sent back and we have been convicted of righteousness now the, only the world is being convicted of sin right here it reproves the world of sin and the only sin they're being reproved of is not believing in Jesus but we're convicted of righteousness because he goes to the Father and we see him no more now Let's see here. Let's get rid of that. Now, then you come down to number three of judgment. Now, when we think that the comforter, comforter is convicted in the world of judgment, that's not true. That's religious thinking. He convicted the world of sin, and that's only one sin. They didn't believe in him. He convicts us of our righteousness. He doesn't convict us of our sin. He convicts us how righteous we are in Jesus and come down here of judgment. Uh, why? Because the prince of this world is judged okay when Jesus went to hell oops when Jesus went to hell he paid the price for our sins past present and future because we hadn't even been born yet when he died uh, um, so there was no sin in us but when we were born um, we were born into the world as a sinner so all of our sins past present and future are forgiven so if you look at this and you highlight this the comforter is going to convict reprove the world or reprove the world of judgment not because they're being judged because they're sinners or they're wrong or we're being judged we we've been judged already um, we're innocent because Jesus paid our guilty price so here the judgment is not of the world it's not of us but it's of the prince of this world is judged okay so that's it on how to study the word and I hope you've gotten a little revelation from some of these things that I pulled out here for you I like to take them and number them I like to highlight different things the main subject and then what you can do also is you can take word, key words in the phrase and look them up the comforter okay what else does the comforter do the Holy Spirit the comforter and you can put those scriptures together with these or um, righteousness if you can look up righteousness here and um, find out all about our righteousness and our judgment. So my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And I hope that uh, is a blessing to you that you've seen a new way to study the scriptures. And I'm out.